say goodbye to your double chin. Most of the time, when we see a double chin, we tend to think that it might be a sign of gaining weight or obesity, but it's not always the case. A double chin is not a sign of poor health, but lots of people find them unflattering, and they can lower your self-esteem. What is a double chin? A double chin, also known as turkey neck, is simply an accumulation of excess fat in the area underneath the chin. It is considered an inherited abnormality and is usually passed on to family members. However, it can also be affected by the natural aging process. What causes a double chin? There are several factors to consider about why you have a double chin. Below is a list of reasons why they appear. Genetics Genes take a pesky role in the creation of a double chin. You're biologically programmed to have a double chin, if you noticed, that most of your family members have a double chin. This happens because the genes determine where the extra fats that you had accumulated will be stored or retained. Aging Another popular factor to consider when it comes to double chin is aging. As the body ages, the skin gradually loses its elastic properties. This may result in the development of excess or saggy skin which may lead to an influence on the formation of a double chin. Posture Another cause that is associated with a double chin is having a bad posture. When using a gadget, instead of looking upright, we are likely to crane our necks to be able to know what we are doing. Also slouching forward to look at the gadget is among the worst acts we might be doing. Weight gain even though weight gain is not always the cause of double chin, it's another common and known cause for it. Once you gain weight, fat accumulation is expected to happen all over the body, and sadly, it involves the face and under the chin. Gaining weight and eating foods that are high in unhealthy fats, sugar contents, carbohydrates, and calories, will surely get you a double chin. When fat deposits have nowhere else to go, they will gather around your neck and beneath the chin, even without a genetic history of a double chin. Facial structure The fundamental form of our face is a factor that is linked to the formation of a double chin, which is beyond our grasp. Just like body types, for some people, it is possible for them to carry weight quite attractively than the others. This goes for the facial features as well. We now know the what and whys, watch out next week as we share some tips on how you can get rid of that stubborn double chin. We hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be kept up to date whenever we post a new video.